During the strike on a military airfield in the Republic of Adygea, for missiles, 15 aerial bombs and 41 unified planning and correction modules were destroyed. The Telegram channel ASTRA reports this, citing its sources. The publication also reports that the runway was partially destroyed. During attack on the Konskaya airfield in Adygea, one of the drones hit an ammunition depot. According to sources, as a result, an X-31 missile, three X-35 missiles and 15 UMBP aerial bombs detonated. Also lost were 41 unified planning and correction modules which are installed on aerial bombs, increasing their range by tens of kilometers, 20 UMPK, 500 M, 16 UMPK, 505 UMPK. Another UAV hit the runway. It was partially destroyed, the report says. Let us recall that on the night of October 10, Ukrainian drones attacked the suburb of Makop in the Republic of Adygea, the drone struck the Konskaya military airfield, where the 272nd Training Aviation Polotsk orders of Suvorov and Kutuzov Aviation Base of the 2nd category of the Krasnodar Higher Military Aviation School of Pilots named after hero of the Soviet Union AK Serov is stationed. The head of Adygea reported only about the attack and subsequent fire, in the suburbs of Makop, and also announced the evacuation of residents of the village of Rodnikovi, which is adjacent to the military airfield Konskaya. The attack on the airfield was not officially confirmed by either local authorities or the Russian Defense Ministry. However, it was confirmed by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Ой-ой-ой-ой-ой! Что происходит? Ukraine has expressed growing concerns over Russia's efforts to extend its sphere of influence through the deployment of the African Corps and allied Russian private military companies in several African nations. The Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced this. Russian mercenaries inflict an irreparable damage to the stability and security of the African countries, fuel internal spats and conflicts, cause an increase in human losses. They are engaged in illegal mining and expropriation of valuable minerals of these countries to finance the aggressive war of the Russian Federation against Ukraine, the statement said. Ukrainian diplomats state that immigrants from Africa and the Middle East who are being fraudulently or coercively sent by Russia to fight against the Ukrainian people regularly fall into Ukrainian captivity. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs appealed to such foreigners to avoid joining the Russian army by all means and if sent to the front to use the I want to live project at the earliest opportunity to voluntarily surrender their weapons to the Ukrainian defense forces and save their lives. We strongly condemn the Russian Federation's cynical use of African and Arab citizens as mercenaries who are utilized mercilessly by the Kremlin regime as cannon fodder in battles against the defense forces of Ukraine on the territory of our state. Ukraine's Ministry of Foreign Affairs emphasized calling on the governments of friendly countries in Africa and the Middle East to publicly condemn such actions by Russia and take all possible measures to stop this criminal practice. 
according to the universally recognized norms and principles of international law and the UN Charter, Ukraine is a victim of illegal, unprovoked and unjustified armed aggression by Russia, the Foreign Ministry emphasized. Therefore, it is the international duty of all states that respect the principles and goals of the UN Charter to help protect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. Only through unity and strength, the world can give a worthy rebuff to the aggressors and invaders wherever they are, the Ukrainian diplomat summarized.